cleaning for a reason. That's the idea behind one local company's efforts to help people battling cancer. 630's Kevin Maycheck has the story. When Donna Kugler was diagnosed with cancer back in April, common household cleanliness became challenging. Everybody wants their house clean, at least I do. And uh, I'm a single mom as well, so I'm very busy. Cleaning is hard right now and uh, you know, sensitive to smells and just physically not able to lift some things and uh, dealing with fatigue, things like that. And, and uh, living in a clean environment is important as well uh, for healing and health. While getting some help at the Waterford Clinic in Aurora, Kugler heard just what she needed to hear. One day I was getting a facial and the lady said, have you heard about the free cleaning service for your house? I'm like, really? <laughs> and um, I said I'd like to learn more about it. I and mean, it's definitely one of the things that I needed help with. So she gave me the resource. Um, I checked the website and uh, really got prompt response within the next day or two. Next thing she knew, two maids and a mop showed up at her door, ready to help. The Naperville franchise has partnered with the national not-for-profit Cleaning for a Reason to give cancer patients in-home cleaning services free of charge. So when I started the Two Maids and a Mop franchise uh, here in Naperville, I wanted to be able to give back to the community. And Two Maids nationally offers that a as a partner. And so I immediately contacted the organization uh, became involved and actually the first day that we opened our doors we cleaned a home um, for a patient. Nationally Cleaning for a Reason has had about 1200 maid services like two maids in a mop participate serving more than 30,000 homes across the US. Patients anywhere simply apply online and the rest is up to the organization who will assign their home to a partnering cleaning service in that area. Very simple, very easy, um, and we guarantee that we will clean at least two new uh, patients' homes per month. We'll just dust, we'll just vacuum, we'll clean out a refrigerator, we'll do whatever, they, whatever help they need. Having something like this is just another blessing. They're, they're blessings to me, they're blessings. While it may seem like such a small thing to most, for someone already burdened with regular doctor visits, hospital bills, and the daily stress of battling cancer, having your home clean means the world. It gives them a chance to have a clean home so that every struggle that they're going through during the day, you know, when they get back from the hospital or wherever, they can come back, they can relax in a clean home and know that they don't have to exert any energy to make that happen. My mother uh, died of cancer, my grandmother died of cancer, I've had multiple friends who I know who have cancer, so um, I, think, I think we're hard pressed in the world today to not know somebody who's being affected by it. And so until we can find a cure, all we can do is you know, do what we can do to help. As for Donna, she remains optimistic and hopes to one day return to school for her paralegal studies she began shortly before her diagnosis. Life is beautiful. <laughs> I have family that I love, friends, my church, and I have faith. And uh, we all have a purpose in life. And, uh, you know, I want to be here and healthy and strong to, to serve my purpose. And really, it's a day at a time. You know, I've, I've looked at this cancer journey as another challenge, another trial. And we're going to get through it, and we are. For 630 Naperville, I'm Kevin Maycheck. If you or someone you know is fighting cancer and can use some help, visit cleaningforareason.org for more information.